This is Eugene Panrutkiewicz. I'm the laptop screen doc. The name of the website is www.screensurgeons.com. And today we have an Acer Aspire 7741Z laptop with a cracked screen. Uh, this is a big laptop with a 17.3 inch screen, so it's really nice and thin, but it has a cracked screen, so let's take care of it. All right, the first thing you want to do, this is especially important for LED screen laptops, is remove the battery. So you unlock it here, and then you slide this lever, and the battery comes out like so. So remove the battery first. Next, what we need to do is remove the plastic bezel, also known as the plastic frame. And this frame is held down by two screws on the down here, and they're hidden by some plastic covers. So let's go over the tools we're going to use to do this job. We have an exacto knife with a pointed blade, a pair of metal tweezers, and a small electronics screwdriver with a PH1 bit and a smaller pH zero bit and some sort of prying tool, plastic prying tool. This is a custom tool but you can use either a kitchen spreading knife or a guitar pick will do the job also. Okay so first thing we want to do is remove the plastic covers that are hiding the screws. We we'll use our exacto knife for that and we attach the covers on the side so we don't lose them. We do this and we do the same thing over here. Hope, hopefully we're still in, within the camera angle. I have to figure out how to place the camera perfectly on my forehead. So it's there. Okay, it came off and the screws are exposed. So next we unscrew the screws. There's one, and there's two. All right, two screws. Okay, next comes probably the hardest part of this job. Oh, I found my plastic cover, so we can adhere it here. So next is the hardest part of the job, is to remove the bezel. What I like to do for this is go on the screen side and start gently prying it up with my fingertips and listen for the snapping sounds. If you hear snapping sounds, that's a good sign. So we go around, and if we get stuck on a place, we go somewhere else, like so. And let's keep going around. There's also some adhesive, so it's attached to the screen, so you have to use some force. And you can listen for the adhesive coming off. So we coming up. This might take you a while longer. I do this a lot, so I did this pretty quick. So just take your time on this, and sooner or later it's going to come off. So like so, it comes off, and we put it to the side. So now we have this screen. This type of screen, it's attached to the metal mounting brackets. The screws on the side. So let's see if we can <coughs> easily access the screws. And there's one, two, three, four, four screws or five screws. Can't quite tell. So what we need to do is to get to those screws. And in order to do that, we have to tilt the screen forward a little bit. And in order to do that, we undo some screws that hold the metal mounting bracket at the top. 
Okay, one screw and two screws. Make sure we're within camera range. Okay, and the screw came off. All right, good thing this is a old screen, not a new screen, because that may have damaged the screen. But that's okay. We're all learning here. Okay, so I count three screws on each side. Now that we loosen up the top, we can tilt the screen forward and we can access these screws. So let's start on doing these. One. Two. Three. All right. And we want to have the screen tilted back a little bit. Let's go on the other side. We have one screw. And we like to keep the different sets of screws in different piles so that we know what goes where. And put the piles in chronological order as you work on the laptop. That is, one pile, one, one place, then the next thing, the next place, and so on. So you can when you go backwards, you can just go backwards with the pile of screws. So don't have the screws scattered haphazardly all over the place. Okay, so we removed all the screws that are holding the screen, and we start tilting it forward, and right away we see that the webcam cable is attached to the back of the screen. So we remove it so we can get to the screen and then we take a look what's going on back here and the cable is has adhesive on the back too. So we remove that adhesive and now we can safely tilt the screen down and let's see what's going on here. This is a LED screen and it has one connector. So LED screens I should say most LED screens have one connector, and that's here. And there is some adhesive on the back of this cable, so we lifted it up, and there is some adhesive tape on top of the connector. So we lift that up, slowly lift it up, so we can remove the connector. Let's get a close-up see what we're doing here. Okay, once we lift up the adhesive on both sides, to remove the connector, you just slide it backwards, and it's out. Okay, and we have the screen out. It's a 17.3-inch LED screen. Uh, it's fairly common as of uh, mid-2011, so not too hard to find. And let's look at the part number. The part number is B173RW01. B173RW01. That's the part number you need to do your search. Also, um, Screen Surgeons sell screens, so we can provide this screen for you also. Just go on the Screen Surgeons website and click Buy a Screen. Okay, and the other thing we need to notice, the connector is in the lower left hand corner. That's pretty standard, so you don't have to worry about that. And the screen has a glossy finish, which is also pretty standard these days. Alright, so once you have your new screen, you reverse the procedure. Um, make sure this connector is in tightly. So let's try reconnecting again and make sure, let's see if we can get a close up. Good focus. So you have to make sure it's snapped in tightly, otherwise, you're not going to have a good picture. Okay, and that's the only other thing. And um, so you put the screen back in, put the mounting screws here, and put the plastic bezel on top, and you're done. 
All right, uh, that's it. My name is Eugene Panrutkovich. I'm the laptop screen doc, and the name of the website is www.screensurgeons.com.